We are a part of nature, and as such, our relationship with nature exposes a part of our relationship with ourselves. I'm Dr. Lynette Wiest, and you're watching Wisdom's Peaceful Harmony. This video contains one of two letters. This video is the first letter, and it is titled, From Human to Mother Earth. And the second letter is titled, From Mother Earth to My Child Human. If you want to be notified of that video, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Hello, Mother Earth. My name is Human. I know it has been so long since I have taken the time to fully connect with you. Although I am not sure, I sense I am in some serious trouble due to my neglect and irresponsibility in our relationship. I know I've been irresponsible, but please let me explain. I fear honestly looking at and trusting my dependence on you. I've discounted your impact on me and rejected the power of your ability to care for me. I tell myself I have the power to choose whether to support you or destroy you, but in fact, my power is in choosing whether to let you support me or not. In trying to control you and your support, I reject my limits and my needs. Because of my arrogance, I ignore your significance in my life. Thus, I've been ignorant to your powerful desire to support me. I'm destroying myself by rejecting the power of your loving resources. From your perspective, I may appear oblivious to so many important aspects of our relationship. I'm not oblivious. I'm stubborn and I'm afraid. I fear the reality of your power over me. My power impacts you, but not in the way that I wish. I impact you, but I cannot destroy you. I can only destroy your ability to support me. I need you in order to survive but my arrogance refuses to believe that I need you. I lie to myself, saying that you need me. I fear trusting you, and so I steal from you. I tell myself that you don't have enough for me, that your slow and steady giving will bring me scarcity. I tell myself your supply is limited, and so I squeeze from you what is not mine to take. My doubt and fear limit your ability to give me the steady abundance that you have waiting for me. I am a child demanding more than my hands can hold. I hoard what appears as extra, keeping it from segments of myself, from members of my own human body, thus reinforcing my human belief in scarcity. And this belief in scarcity is the lens through which I see you. I worship this belief in scarcity. I fear being in need and without resources. My faith in fear is so foolish. When you don't serve me as I want and expect of you, I decide you have a problem, that you are a problem. I diagnose what is wrong with you. I try to control and change you in the name of problem solving. Greed tells me I must achieve power over you. But greed creates a false sense of power, and this is futile and discouraging. Greed expands my illusion of needing more than I have, thus limiting my ability to receive your nourishment and increasing the power of my fear. I think I must steal from you in order so to survive, and I steal what is toxic to my own body, proving the stupidity of my greed. Fear is suffocating and destroying my members. When my hands are full of what is not mine to have, you can't fill my hands with the loving resources you so richly offer. My thievery will eventually deplete your body of what is not mine. And I'll look to what I have done, and I'll see that my hands are full of what I can't use. Any addict knows that relying on what is unhealthy obstructs the ability to receive what is healthy. I am an addict dependent on my lies. An addict must have a scapegoat, and so you are my scapegoat. When my hands are full of stolen loot, too full to receive your healthy resources, I can declare my lie and say it is your fault. Mother, there is a human named Tom Shadjack, and he shared an honest statement. He said that, quote, there's one fundamental law all of nature obeys, that mankind breaks every day. Now this is a law that's evolved over billions of years, and the law is this. Nothing in nature takes more than it needs. A redwood tree doesn't take all of the soil's nutrients, just what it needs to grow. 
A lion doesn't kill every gazelle, just one. We have a term for something in the body when it takes more than its share. We call it cancer, end quote. Mother, I want to stop the painful consequences of my greed. But then, what I try to do is increase my power by claiming ownership and control over you. But the illusions of ownership and control are like a boomerang of destruction against me. I want to have the power to make you supply the demands of my greed. I refuse to believe it is me who needs to change. And so I blame you. I lie, telling myself that we are separate, telling myself I control you. My dependence on these lies requires more lies. And my lies tell me that I have to have answers and that I have to know how to conquer and how to control you. But how can I control you when I operate from within you? I can't control you. The truth is that we are connected and I am dependent on your gifts to me. I am a part of you. By refusing to learn and grow, I forfeit my own growth and demand that you grow. But you are already infinite and I am ignorant. I am afraid to learn and change. Change and growth are uncomfortable and I demand comfort. I equate comfort with safety, progress, and success. I misunderstand my discomfort thinking that it's an indicator of danger. I avoid all discomfort, even the discomfort of advantageous change. I avoid the discomfort of humility and honesty. Blinding myself from the truth of our relationship and from your wisdom and care for me, I end up creating the danger I feared of not having the resources you freely offer to me. I blame you for my fear and its consequences. But by blaming you, I forfeit my power to change myself and receive the resources that you loving provi lovingly provide to me. And you provide in the moderation that is best for me. My power is destroyed by my blame and my lies. Only truth and humility can give me the power to receive from you. The only benefit that you get from our relationship is the experience of loving me and supporting me. When I interrupt your ability to support me, you love me still. You wait, knowing I will eventually accept reality, the reality that I must receive your gifts of love. One day, when I embrace your gifts to me, I will be nourished in full. But for now, I have chosen fear. I fight within myself, my fear battling against trust and confidence, my greed wanting to control. I refuse to find harmony within my members. This harmony would require me to give up my fear, and to give up my belief that greed is great and powerful. And harmony would require me to embrace vulnerability, to respect your power, and to respect and share with all members of nature that you birthed onto your body. As time passes, I dance around the truth. I create more chaos and I increase my fear. I see our relationship through eyes of greed. But if I pulled down my veil of greed, my love could shine on you and I would see you clearly. Love would be my awareness, bringing order to my chaos. Why do I refuse to see the truth? I want to believe my greedy lies. The lies require no responsibility on my part other than to steal from you for my desires. Do I really want to escape this internal conflict? It would require the humility and so much integrity. I would have more freedom, but with more freedom would come more responsibility. And I can't even trust myself with what you have already given me. But growth could be the outcome of my struggle. The greatest lessons can be learned in the greatest storms. So why do I refuse to grow? Why do I cling to my internal conflict? I have not allowed myself to believe honest information. And so my ignorant choices limit your ability to nourish my growth. In fear, I lie to myself and accuse myself of being ignorant at my core. But the truth is that I must be responsible and admit that my wisdom is hidden only by my fear. Deep inside, I know the truth of love. I know the truth. I am not ignorant. But I fabricate more lies in this futile effort to hide myself from the truth of our relationship.
from the truth of my wisdom that would require me to, to love you and to be responsible. I want the lies to save me, but they blind me from the truth that my heart knows will save me. My heart is brilliant and wise. Living in this web of lies is blinding me from the truth my heart knows. The big lie is that we are separate, and the truth is that we are connected, and I am dependent on your care. I am a part of you. What will it take to make me admit the truth? The truth that you care for yourself, your whole self, you have no greed, you have no fear. In order to live in the truth of our relationship, I must take responsibility for my power and my decisions. I could no longer blame you and that scares me. Is the uncomfortable truth of our relationship worth it? Is the humility, tenderness, honesty, and vulnerability worth it? Even if it saves my life. In my heart, I know I am more than my brain tells me I am. The truth is that I am capable of what my brain cannot fathom. I have the power to change myself and to change the world around me through wisdom and love. This truth opens me up to mind-boggling responsibility. This responsibility is to love, and that is terrifying to me. The only thing greed requires of me is to steal from you. That's it. Although love will nourish me forever, it requires humility and true courage. Ironically, I fear homelessness, but you are my garden of Eden, my mansion in the sky. The question is whether I will accept you as my home or continue to try to use you as my tool to feed my greed. And this greed is insanity. I'm trying to learn who I am and how I fit onto your beautiful body. Am I jealous of your beauty and your seeming power over me? Power can only last when it is the power of love. The power of your love can only exist where it is allowed to flow. This requires me to allow and receive from the perfect flow of your abundant resources for me and not to demand and steal from you what is not best for me. My human-centric story, it, this, my story of history, it goes in circles. How has this happened? Has it happened before? Am I repeating my own history? Isn't that a waste of time? We flow together in the circle of time. Time gives us the opportunity to enrich our relationship with love. Time assists my understanding of myself and of my role in your paradise. But how am I supposed to know where to fit in, where I fit into this massive scope of your history? Not the human-centric history, but your history. I want history to be about me, not about you. I do not understand your infinite wisdom to love and care for me. I can define the word infinite, but my brain does not comprehend it. I am so afraid to admit that I don't understand, and so I hide from your love and your answers. I would rather say I know more than you than to admit that I have to learn from you and your wiser ways. Creation formed my body from your body. You give me infinite blessings, and I don't understand this. You know the harmony of our hearts creating a world together in unity. I've been trying to use my logical brain to understand your abundance. How crazy is that? When the infinite wisdom in my heart does understand, and it understands what my brain cannot understand. My heart understands but my brain can't. In exceptional moments when I operate from my heart, I join you in love's creation of life. When we create together, there's nothing better. Can I find the courage to let go of my greed in order to care for you as you care for me? You are my mother. You show me how to love you. Help me pay attention. My body came from yours. The wisdom of your life is in my life but my life feels buried in my fear. Fear obstructs my courage to know the inherent wisdom that comes in being alive. Spirit breathed life into me, divine breath to create my life. Mother, are you paying attention? I use you, fearing you are limited and may disappear. Why are you letting me hurt you? Please stop me from destroying myself. 
You simply wait patiently with compassion and understanding, waiting for me to know myself, waiting for me to understand the joy of being in harmony with you. Your love lives forever. Mine will too, when I love you as you love me. You will never leave me because I am a part of you. My heart is infinite with yours because we are drops of love in the infinite ocean of divine creation. It is only in our unity that you can fully give to me. Love is the bonding agent dissolving any appearance of our division. Love creates and multiplies its resources for all. Mother, I would ask your forgiveness, but somehow you already see me as perfect. Your unconditional love makes no sense to my logical brain, but the love in my heart understands you. My brilliant heart says, thank you for knowing I am a part of you. Thank you for surrounding me and supporting me. Thank you for not ever giving yourself the option to stop teaching me about us. I do love you. I really do. And I want you to write back, but I'm afraid of what you will say. Yet I know that anything you say will be said in love for my protection and my benefit. Maybe one day I will open the letters you've already sent to me. There are so, so many. Forever yours, human. Thank you for listening. And again, please watch the video titled, A Letter from Mother Earth to My Human Child. And that one is quite a bit shorter. If you liked this video, please click on the like button and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to see more videos about relationships, about nature, about love's power, and about communication skills. It is free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Welcome.